Today, I'm recreating an awesome text animation I saw on Motion Nation's channel. But instead of using After Effects, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to achieve that same dynamic scaling text reveal in DaVinci Resolve. Let's jump right in. I've already set up my timeline and added a Fusion composition. Now, let's switch over to the Fusion tab. Press Shift plus Space in the Fusion flow, type Text plus, hit Enter, and then connect it to Media Out. In the inspector, type your desired text using the Gotham font and adjust its shape and styling as desired. Select your text plus node, copy it by pressing Ctrl C, and paste it by pressing Ctrl V to create a duplicate. Now, select this duplicate node. In the inspector under the text section, remove all characters except for the last letter of your text and feel free to change its color so it stands out. Select the copied text node and press the transition button to add a transition node to begin your animation. At the very first frame, Set a keyframe for the size parameter with a value of 1. Move to the last frame of the animation and set another keyframe with size at 1. Then, move to a frame just before the last keyframe and adjust the size value so the text expands to fill the screen. Add a keyframe in the middle of the animation for its position, then move to the final keyframe and adjust the X value so it returns to its original position. Also, add rotation. Go to the last frame and add a keyframe for the rotation parameter. In the first frame, set the rotation value to minus 180 degrees. At the middle keyframe, adjust it to minus 90 degrees. This will create a dynamic rotational effect during the animation. Switch to the spline editor, then press Ctrl A to select all keyframes, and press S to smooth them out. Select the path graph, and press Ctrl T to open the smooth tab. Lock in and out smoothing and increase the value to create a gradual easing effect. Next, select the size graph. Highlight the first two keyframes. Right-click and choose Ease, then Cubic Ease. Then select the last two keyframes and increase the smooth value to fine-tune the transition. Finally, select the angle graph and apply the same smoothing adjustments to achieve a fluid rotation throughout the animation. Copy the original text node, Remove the last letter this time and adjust its position to match the rest of the design. Add a transition node to this copy. If it's no longer needed, you can delete the initial text node. Find the ideal frame where the text should shift slightly to the right. Set a keyframe and increase the X value to move the text to the right. At the frame immediately after the last keyframe for the last letter, adjust the X value so the text returns to its proper position. Switch to the Spline Editor, then select the keyframe, right-click, choose Ease, and then select Cubic Out to smooth out this transition. Now, let's add a fade to our text. Select the text node and navigate to the desired frame. In the Shading tab, set a keyframe for Opacity at 0. Move forward by about 5 frames and increase the Opacity to 1. Again. Use the Spline Editor to smooth out this transition for a clean fade-in. And lastly, add Motion Blur. For extra realism, select your transition node and head over to the Settings tab. Enable Motion Blur and adjust the value to your preference. Apply similar settings to any additional transition nodes if needed. And that's it. You've recreated this awesome scaling text reveal entirely in DaVinci Resolve. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more effects like this, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. A big thanks to Motion Nations for the inspiration. See you in the next video.